In this video, we're going to solve two-step equations which have a fraction in them. Specifically, we will see the x or the variable over a number and how we can handle that. Well, really, a fraction bar is the same as a basic operation. When we see a fraction bar, such as 6 over 2, we really can just divide the 6 by 2 to get 3. A fraction bar is the same as division. And so based on what we've seen with solving equations, to clear division, we must do the opposite, or we must multiply both sides by the number or the denominator. And because we're solving or working backwards to our solution, we're going to also do the same thing and add and then multiply order of operations working backwards, the addition and subtraction step, then the multiplication and division step. Let's take a look at some examples. In this first example, we have x over 4 minus 3 equals 7. We always balance through the equal sign, but we also always take care of the standalone number that's either added or subtracted with the variable. Here we have minus 3. We get rid of those 3 negatives with 3 positives on both sides. This leaves us with x over 4 is equal to 7 plus 3, or 10. This means x divided by 4 on the left side. To get rid of dividing by 4, we will multiply both sides of the equation by the number, the denominator of 4. This will allow the 4's to divide out, because 4 over 4 is 1, x equals 10 times 4, or 40, for our final solution. We can verify that answer by checking it, replacing the x in the original equation with our 40. x, or 40 over 4, minus 3, is that really equal to 7? Now, because we're simplifying, we'll follow order of operations, dividing first. 40 over 4 is 10 minus 3. Is that really equal to 7? Yes, it is equal to 7. That checks, which tells us our answer of 40 is the correct solution. Let's try one more example. In this problem, we have negative 2 equals 4 plus x over 6. Our goal is always to get the x alone by moving the other stuff out of the way. We have an over 6 and a positive 4. We always get rid of the standalone number first, that positive 4, and we get rid of those 4 positives with 4 negatives on both sides. Negative 2 and negative 4 is negative 6, which is equal to x over 6. Still trying to get the x alone, right now the x is divided by 6, so we do the opposite, which is to multiply by 6 on both sides. The 6's divide out, and x is equal to 6 times negative 6, which is negative 36, and we have our solution. We can verify this solution by checking our answer, plugging the negative 36 in for x in the original problem, which was negative 2 equals, we hope it equals, 4 plus x, which is negative 36 over 6. Let's simplify the right side and see if we really do get negative 2. First, we divide, so we have 4 plus negative 36 divided by 6 is negative 6. Is that equal to negative 2? Well, the negative is bigger, and 6 minus 4 is 2. It checks, which tells us our solution is correct. x equals 36 is our solution, the only solution that can be plugged in for x, which will give us a true equation. We solve these two-step equations by adding or subtracting first, and multiplying or dividing second.